Hello everyone, we are here today to study about the cell modification. We will talk about how our cells modify and how this modification helps us in our body. We will also include here what are the specialized cells and how these cells function in our body. But before we proceed to our discussion, I would like first to define what is cell and what is modification. Cells are the basic units of organization of an organism. It is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism, typically microscopic and consisting of cytoplasm, and a nucleus enclosed in a membrane. Microscopic organism typically consists of a single cell, which is either eukaryotic or prokaryotic. On the other side, modification is a change in organism caused by environmental factors. Modification is the act or process of changing parts of something or the act or process of modifying something. If we will combine these two words, cell modification are specialized or modifications are acquired by the cell after cell division. This modification helps the cell in different beneficial ways that will allow efficient functions promoting survival of the organism. And there are three types of cell modification, the apical modification, the basal modification, and lastly, the lateral modification. Apical modifications are specialized to carry out functions that occur at the apical surface. And under the apical modifications are the cilia, microvilli, stericilia, and flagella. Cilia. Cilia are slender microscopic hair-like structures. They are organelles that extend from the surface of nearly all mammalian cells. The ciliary apparatus is connected to the cell cycle progression and cilia play a vital part in human and animal development in everyday life. The length of a single cilium is 1 to 10 micrometers and a width which is less than 1 micrometers. Cilia are broadly divided into two types, the motile cilia and the non-motile cilia. Motile cilia are found in the lungs, respiratory tract, and in the middle ear. These cilia have a rhythmic waving or beating motion. Their work, for instance, to keep the airways clear of mucus and dirt, allowing us to breathe easily and without irritation. They also help propel sperm. While the non cilia or primary cilia were long to, thought to be evolutionary vestigial organs, they are now recognized as playing crucial roles in a number of organs. Some act as a sensory antenna for the cell and some as a receiving signal from other cells or fluids nearby. In the kidney, for example, Cilia bend with urine flow and send a signal to alert the cells that there is a flow of urine. Next is the microvilli. Microvilli are the plasma membrane covered of the cell surface. Microvilli in the most simplest terms are the tiny little projection that exists in and on and around the cell. They can exist on their own in conjunction with the villi. The linings in some mucous membranes, most specifically in the small intestine, there exist tiny folds that project out like numerous fingers. They are called with villi. On each of the villi, there are even smaller folds that stick out like fingers called the microvilli. Stereocilia. In the inner ear, stereocilia are the mechanical sensing organelles of hair cells, which respond to fluid motion in numerous types of animals or virus function, including hearing and balance. They are about 10 to 50 micrometers in length and share some similar features of microvilli. The hair cells turn the fluid pressure and other mechanical stimuli into electrical stimuli via the many microvilli that make up of stereo rods. Stereocilia exist in the auditory and the vestibular system. Lastly is the flagellia or flagellium. Flagellia are long, thin, and with like appendages attached to a bacterial cell that allow for bacterial movement. A flagellia is a whip-like structure that allows a cell to move. They are found in all three domains of the living world, bacteria, archaea, and eukaryota, also known as proteins, plants, and animals. While all three types of flagellia are used for different locomotion, they are structurally dif very different to each other. Other cells have different means of locomotion. Cilia are similar to flagellia in structure and function, but a cilium is shorter and moves differently. A ciliated cell usually has hundreds or thousands of cilia, which move in unison like little oars. Sometimes a cell will also use cilia to funnel food into an oral group, 
Various fishes acquire mission in Placilia for both purposes. Some cells get around by pushing cytoplasm into an extension of the cell membrane, forming a structure called a pseudopod. This is true of amoebas and white blood cells in our bloodstream. Fagella can be also several times larger than the cell. Basal modification is the cell modification that functions and occurs at the basal surface, wherein the basal surface contacts the basal lamina, because it is the surface closest to the underlying blood supply. It often contains receptors for blood-borne factors such as hormones. Basal enfolding. Enfoldings of the basolateral region of the plasma membrane are commonly found in cells engaged in active transport of fluids and ions. These enfoldings increase the surface area available for transport. Hemidesmosomes. Hemidesmosomes are located on the inner surface of basal plasma membranes in contact with the basal lamina. They help to attach epithelial cells to the basal lamina. The best examples are found in the basal layers of stratified squamous epithelium. One type of specialized cells are the ciliated cells. Cilia are tiny hair-like structures on the surface of the cell. The hair sweeps mucus and traps dust and bacteria up to the back of the throat where it can be swallowed. Ciliated cells are the cells that are covered in tiny hair-like projection known as cilia. There tend to be two main types of this cell namely motile and non-motile cilia, sometimes also known as the primary. In most cases, this distinction has to do with how the cell uses its cilia. Motile cells use the protrusion to move through space or to move other substances like dust and debris off of their outer membrane. Primary cells, on the other hand, more frequently use their cilia to interpret the outside environment or to pick up signals from the nearby area. Both types of cells occur in many places in nature as well as in human and animal bodies. They play many roles and problems with the movement or sensory perception can cause a number of chronic issues. Another type of specialized cells are the root hair cells. Plants absorb water from the soil by osmosis. Root hair cells are adapted for this by having a large surface area to speed up osmosis. The absorbed water is transported through the roots to the rest of the plant where it is used for different purposes. It is a reactant used in photosynthesis and it supports leaves and shoots by keeping the cells rigid. It cools the leaves by evaporation and it transports the cell minerals around the plant. Leaves are adapted for photosynthesis by having a large surface area and contain openings called stomata to allow carbon dioxide into the leaf. Although these design features are good for photos photosynthesis, they can result in the leaf losing a lot of water. Another type of specialized cells are the muscle cells. Muscle cells is a soft tissue found in most animals. Muscle cells contain potent filaments of actin and myosin that slide past one another and producing a contraction that changes both the length and the shape of the cell. Muscle function to produce force and motion. They are primarily responsible for maintaining and changing posture, locomotion, as well as the movement of internal organs, such as the contraction of the heart and the movement of the foot through the digestive system.